Nice and Amide is everywhere. Serums, moisturizers, sunscreen, foundation, and even hair care products. But does it actually live up to the hype? Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're diving into niacinamide and how it actually works, what it does for the skin, and when it may not be helpful for the skin. Plus, I'll break down all the things and how to use it properly and do you actually need a separate niacinamide serum. So if this sounds interesting to you, please continue watching. I would love it if you can give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification button and subscribe to my channel. So what is niacinamide? Niacinamide may also go by the name like niacin or nicotinic acid. They're all forms of vitamin B3. Vitamin B3 is an essential nutrient, not just for our skin, but also for our entire body well-being and it supports cellular energy metabolism and dna repair it is water soluble and essential meaning we actually don't make it ourselves we have to obtain it through diet or like supplements and if you are actually deficient and tends to happen back in the days you can actually develop a condition called pellagra that dermatologists used to see and treat and it manifests as various skin findings on, on the body as well as inside the mouth. So it really makes that basically niacinamide is very essential for over well-being, but especially for our skin health. Now, aside from the benefits, I'm not a chemist, but my understanding is that because it's water soluble, stable, and effective across various pH ranges, it is really beca has become a reason why it is one of the most versatile, well-tolerated ingredients in skincare and why it is really a lot of so many different skincare products. Now in dermatology, niacinamide has been used for decades for various different things. We you know, prescribe it orally as well as use it topically for a lot of anti-inflammatory reasons. So for people that have like immunobolus diseases, niacinamide and the antibiotic pair can help with that. The condition is called bolus pethagoid. We can certainly use it for acne and rosacea, but one of the more common uses that dermatologists these days have been recommending is kind of oral chemo prevention in the sense for certain people taking oral niacinamide 500 milligram twice a day has been shown to reduce the risk of non-melanoma and maybe even melanoma skin cancer but that only happens while you're on it and that risk reduction definitely stops once you stop the supplementation but for some people it can be really helpful and that also kind of speaks to the potential mechanism behind how niacinamide works for the body and for the skin all right so what are the benefits of niacinamide for skin and here i'm mostly talking about the topical ones not really oral because those haven't been studied as much for like skincare benefits if you will topically we know niacinamide is truly a multitasker number one helps to support and repair skin barrier function. Niacinamide actually stimulates ceramide production, really important in making a healthy functional lipid bilayer for our skin barrier. It also helps to reduce trans epidermal water loss. It is also anti-inflammatory. So when your skin barrier is unhappy, inflammation and that dysfunctional skin barrier kind of goes hand in hand. And so that is why probably we see a lot of niacinamide in barrier repair products. And also along with the anti-inflammatory properties, may be helpful for acne, rosacea, um, you know, and a lot of those other conditions that we see niacinamide helping with. Two, it helps with reducing pigment. So niacinamide helps to prevent the transfer of pigment to your keratinocytes. So with that, it may help with hyperpigmentation. It's certainly not the most effective, but does play a role in skin brightening and evening out skin tone. Three, it, as an antioxidant in the way it supports cellular energy and metabolism, it actually has been shown, we don't quite exactly know the exact mechanism, but certainly has been shown in studies to help with like anti-aging benefits and helping to reduce the appearance of fine lines, or wrinkles, maybe boosting collagen, and this other term called yellowing of your skin or sal um, sallowness that um, is a very common Asian culture with the yellow undertone. And I think it, I see it as almost like the glycation of your skin from you know ex external damage, UV damage, but niacinamide does help to reduce that component. And lastly, sebum production, helping to control sebum and offering some anti-inflammatory benefits for acne. Again, we don't know the exact mechanism, but it certainly has been shown to help with that. Now, all of these benefits really were done looking at concentrations between two to five percent. And so that is where it's the most studied. Now, with products on the market, when you have a higher concentration, it doesn't mean that it works better. It also doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It's just 
We don't know. Certainly higher concentrations have been shown to potentially cause more irritation. But just what I want you guys to have that thought in mind is that a lot of times you may see like 10%, 20%. And certainly if it works for you, go for it. But higher doesn't always necessarily mean better in this, situ in this situation. So with that said, let's actually get into some of the products with niacinamide that people talk about and what I think of them and ones I recommend as well. Now with all of that, do you need a separate niacinamide product or serum? No, especially if you don't have particular skin concerns, you can actually get a lot of benefits of just using a moisturizer or a sunscreen with niacinamide. And honestly, that is my personal favorite way. I actually don't go out of my way to use a separate niacinamide product unless I'm using like an acne treatment or like a hyperpigmentation treatment that happens to have niacinamide. But unless you have specific concerns, you definitely do not need a separate niacinamide serum. And certainly if you've been using one and working well for you, by all means continue. But this is definitely one of the things that it's like, it's nice to have, but definitely not necessary. And I would say for most people, it's probably unnecessary to have a separate niacinamide serum. And there are certain situations where it could be helpful and we'll get into that in a little bit with the product recommendations. But no, one of the best ways that's been shown to get benefits from niacinamide is just actually through your moisturizer. All right, so starting off with niacinamide products, I think I have to start off with the Ordinary Niacinamide 2% and Zinc 1% Serum. I mean, this is like the best seller, really, that is viral, has been viral, maybe is still viral. Um, great for oily and acne-prone skin. It helps to reduce the appearance of pores, regulate sebum and calm redness. It is lightweight, but I think, you know, depending on how many serums you use and definitely should not use more than two in my personal opinion, it could become slightly tacky or it does kind of have a little bit of a tacky residue, I would say. So just be careful if you're layering, but certainly with 10% niacinamide, and remember I said most of the percentages that have shown efficacy is really like two to five. 10% doesn't mean it's like not effective. It just means that it could potentially add irritation. So just be careful of that, especially if you're sensitive skin. But for most people that would use this product, again, it's probably more geared towards oily skin, wanting something to help with controlling sebum. I think you're gonna be pretty well tolerated this serum is going to be pretty well tolerated on your skin. And then I do love the fact that it comes with zinc. Niacinamide and zinc is a great pair because zinc also is anti-inflammatory and helps to modulate sebum and support acne prone skin. And so this is a great one. Again, totally not necessary, but if you're looking for, if you have oily skin, oily combination, acne prone skin at the same time, looking for a serum that helps with pores and regulating that oiliness, especially during the summertime, I think this could be a nice product to have in your routine. Apply, you know, after cleansing, before your moisturizer and sunscreen. Next product is from Paula's Choice Niacinamide 20% Treatment. Now, this is even higher concentrations of it. This is high strength niacinamide that helps to do all the things that was mentioned earlier, but has few additional products. Now, I've used this serum myself. I think it was fine for me, but like I said, I'm the type of person who really don't need a separate niacinamide serum. Now, I've had friends who have super oily skin, super texture skin, and really swear by this product, which is why this is in today's video. Now, this is great for kind of combination normal skin, oily skin, um, and potentially could work well for sensitive skin. But with that 20% higher concentration, I think it's just more be careful of the potential irritation. And the other thing I love about this product, aside from improving the appearance of pores, helping with sebum regulation is that it does have other products that helps to brighten your skin. So if you struggle with like oiliness, um, appearance of pores, but also like post acne marks, this could be a nice product to have in your routine. So it has acetoglucosamine that helps to gently exfoliate as well as vitamin C derivative that helps to brighten and look rich root extract that also helps to brighten and calm the skin at the same time. So again, another niacinamide serum that is not for everyone, more suitable for those with acne prone skin, oily combination skin, looking to control sebum and maybe helping to evening out skin tone at the same time. And then another option for you guys, if you're looking for a higher concentration of niacinamide in drugstores that's really um, elegant is from Naturium. It's a niacinamide 12% plus 2% zinc serum. So similar to the um, ordinary, but got slightly higher concentration. So it could mean a little bit more efficacy, but just another option. Um, but this one, again, very suitable for oily, acne prone skin, helps regular sebum, helps with texture, reduce the appearance of pore size, 
and it's a fast absorbing gel texture that is great for AM and PM use. Um, it is hydrating, so definitely very supportive of your skin barrier. So 12% niacinamide, 2% zinc, and then panthenol and glycerin. So just wanna give you guys another drugstore option if you're looking for one. This is another one that I think, honestly, this product I feel like could be like, could double up as a serum and moisturizer in one in the summertime. Like that gel texture really very much reminds me of like niacinamide gel cream so this one for the summertime if you have super oily and combination skin and want like a serum that kind of doubles as a moisturizer i think this would be a really nice product to use as such next product is actually one of my personal favorites and it's kiehl's ultra pure high potency five percent niacinamide serum so a little bit more evidence-based concentration and i also do love the formula and great for those that have sensitive skin but have a lot of other concerns and looking for like one product one-stop shop that may help you address multiple concerns without having to layer on products um because if you have sensitive skin you know, less is more. So this could be one that is great for sensitive skin that may also struggle with a redness, a blotchiness, uneven skin tone, or if you're like a little oily but sensitive at the same time and also struggle uh, struggle with like texture too. Um, and this one is minimalist formula. So 10 ingredients, again, making it suitable, more suitable for sensitive skin, helps to balance oil, improve the appearance of pores, helps to control um, shine, and reduce inflammation, kind of that visible redness, and also soothing and calming at the same time. I love that it's fast absorbing, lightweight serum, so it layers nicely under your moisturizer and sunscreen. So gonna be more, I would say, between all of these that we talked about so far, this is gonna be my recommended serum for those with sensitive skin, reactive or post-procedure skin. So it contains 5% niacinamide, along with glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and propylene glycol that basically enhances the penetration of these ingredients. So overall, lightweight, more hydrating, better suited for sensitive skin. Next product is La Roche-Posay's Mela B5 Dark Spot Serum. So this is one that I use myself and recommend to patients. It's not a like a separate niacinamide serum. It does contain niacinamide in it along with other products, but it's really geared towards those that struggle with hyperpigmentation. And you guys know I do struggle with post-acne marks. So great for those that struggle with that as well as melasma. So this is a nice one to have and it makes more sense in, your, in someone's routine wanting a product that helps to make their skin tone more even. So this has been clinically proven to help reduce dark spots and post-acne marks. And also in the same time, it helps to improve skin clarity and evenness. So suitable for lots of different concerns, but like I said, the target of this is just uneven skin tone, melasma, hyperpigmentation. So with the ingredients, it contains niacinamide. We don't know the percentages, but I my understanding is it's probably not super high, like you know, 10%. And then has a patented ingredient called melacil that it basically helps to target melanin pathway that is unique to L'Oreal, La Roche-Posay. And then lipohydroxy acid, which is a more gentle acid that helps exfoliate, remove dullness and uneven skin tone along with thermal spring water. So this is a lightweight serum that absorbs pretty quickly. Um, I would say texture-wise, similar to the ordinary, I do find it a little bit tacky, but not sticky. Um, and it's definitely suitable for sensitive skin. It is fragrance though, so you gotta be careful. But certainly this is one that I would use um, on my face when I do struggle with post acne marks and the way you would apply it again after cleansing usually twice a day after cleansing you know after my vitamin C I would use this moisturizer and sunscreen in the evening you would cleanse use this maybe your retinol moisturizer and then basically done next is CeraVe PM facial moisturizing lotion this is probably one of my favorite products I recommend routinely to patients that contain niacinamide at a good concentration that works wonders and is super elegant and affordable. So this is just a great moisturizer, especially if you have oily combination skin because it's oil free and it's lightweight. It's not like mattifying, but it's not greasy at all. And even though it's PM, it's suitable for morning and nighttime use. Just depends on your skin type and the time of the year, but it's great for oily combination skin, prone skin and if you're acne prone using a retinoid want something lightweight that's going to also kind of complement your retinoid this is the one to use so this one actually contains it's not disclosed but I mean I'm working with a brand I know it actually contains 4% niacinamide so a good concentration that we know really is effective at doing all of the things that we talked about right and then also three central ceramides that is the core of CeraVe's products and hyaluronic acid so lovely texture 
effect of concentration niacinamide. So if you're looking for just a moisturizer with niacinamide, this is one of my go-to highly recommend, especially for those that struggle with acne, oiliness, um, or just want a lightweight moisturizer to use in the summertime. Okay, lastly, I just want to talk about a few products that I love that really tackles anti-aging concerns. I feel like Nice and is most well known for like barrier repair, oily and acne prone skin, but it does help with concerns of fine lines, wrinkles, uneven skin texture and skin tone due to skin aging. And so the first product is from Olay, the Olay Super Serum. This is one of my favorite ones from drugstores when patients and followers want a relatively affordable, easy to find serum that helps to target texture, tone, fine lines and firmness. Olay belongs to Procter Gamble. And if you guys didn't know this, but P&G is actually the forerunner in niacinamide research. I think they're the one that actually have done all the publications and studies on niacinamide. So you know they make effective products. But this one, I just love the Super Serum because it is truly a multitasker. Aside from niacinamide, it's got other ingredients that helps to gently exfoliate, improving dullness, helps to brighten your skin, improving, you know, like uneven skin tone, at the same time supporting collagen. So it's really one that it just does it all. And it's lightweight with this kind of pearly sheen that is really pretty too, and it's hydrating. So this one, you can use it day and night, layers really nicely under makeup, under your moisturizer, and of course at night too under, you know, like under, um, this can be like your one-stop shop serum too. Um, you know, it's pretty gentle. If you want to use it with a retinol, I think test it out first, but certainly you could make that happen. But yeah, this would be like the one-stop shop product for those who are looking just to simplify their routine with a serum that they can use morning and night that tackles anti-aging concerns. So ingredient wise, it contains niacinamide and then lactic acid. And lactic acid niacinamide is what really Olay has done to lower the pH of the niacinamide that actually makes it more effective in penetrating the skin and also work more effectively. So kind of that is their technology here. But also lactic acid is going to offer some skin brightening benefits in the sense it helps to gently exfoliate the skin. So even suitable for sensitive skin. Also has ethylated vitamin C that helps to brighten and may offer some antioxidant benefits along with a peptide that is well studied and helping to support and boost collagen. That's palmitoyl pentapeptide 4. And then lastly, hyaluronic acid. So it's a hydrating serum, great multitasker, great go-to if you're looking for like a serum that does like the one-stop shop to tackle your anti-aging concerns. Lastly, if you're looking for a moisturizer with the anti-aging benefits, nothing beats Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream Moisturizer. This, again, I, I think it just has to do with you know, Procter & Gamble, their research, but this is a great one that works well alone if you can't use retinoids for some reason or pairing it with your retinol. Retinoid, retinol, tretinoin. It helps to hydrate and tighten the skin, visibly lifts the skin, helps to restore, improve elasticity, helping with texture and tone, and really helps to really support your anti-aging regimen. So this again contains vitamin B3 that we know does wonders in helping with cellular energy, boosting cellular hydration and metabolism along with hyaluronic acid and that amino peptide that we talked about earlier that is really helping to support collagen and stimulating collagen production. So the fact that this doesn't have a lot of other ingredients that could be potentially irritating makes a wonderful moisturizer to use day and night. It's lightweight, fast absorbing, but especially at night, if you're looking for a good moisturizer to complement, like I said, your retinol, your prescription retinoid, and helping to not only reduce the irritation, but also helping to um, boost the benefits of your retinoid, this would be one to use or just to use alone. All right, guys, so that is it on niacinamide. I mean, certainly a try and true ingredient. Um, there's so many ways of using it. And my favorite way, like I said, is moisturizer. Um, and serums make sense, um, especially if you have oily skin. I, I think it's just being intentional, but moisturizer is my favorite way. Let me know below in the comments, what is your favorite way of using niacinamide and has it done a lot for your skin? And what is your favorite niacinamide product? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.